Hello everyone, my name is Cindy Blackstock and I'm honored to join you from unceded Algonquin Territory here at Beechwood Cemetery, which is Canada's National Cemetery. I wanted to share a few words about reconciling history because this is actually something you can do in alignment with public health guidelines during COVID-19. I'm here at the graveside of Dr. Peter Henderson Bryce. He's one of the earliest examples of true reconciliation. He served as, as the Chief Medical Health Officer for the Indian Department in 1904. And he went out and found the health in the residential schools for children to be appalling. They were dying at a rate of 25%. And why? Well, that was owing to the serious underfunding of healthcare services and also really bad healthcare practices, like putting sick kids in with healthy kids, not having proper ventilation and not having proper sanitation. Now, Bryce's reforms would have cost $15,000 for the government back then, and they had the money. They were running a budget of over 100 million, but the government of Canada said no. Dr. Bryce continued to speak out. He would talk to newspapers. The Ottawa Citizen in 1907 has a headline, Schools Aid White Plague all over the headlines of papers across this country calling to the public to say we have the solutions to save many of these children's lives. So you can come and visit Dr. Bryce, be inspired by his example, read the historical plaque that we have erected here along with Dr. Bryce's family and the great folks who make up the Reconciling History Committee. So, uh, but he's not the only one buried here in Beechwood. So you can leave some rocks or some sweet grass or some tobacco and join me at the next place where we're going to visit in Beechwood of another actor from Reconciling History's Residential School History.